Make money, money, make money. All right, let's get right into it. There is a massive high stakes battle unfolding at Tesla right now. And it's all about control, a ton of money, and really the future of artificial intelligence. This is so much bigger than just one company. It's a story about power and this incredible technological revolution that we are all living through. So right off the bat, you have this quote from Elon Musk himself, and it really gets to the very heart of the matter. He's making this case for having enough voting power to see his vision through, but he says, not so much that he can't get fired if he goes off the rails. I mean, it just perfectly captures the paradox of this whole situation, this incredible desire for immense power, but with this tiny check on it, this risk of accountability. Now, to get a sense of just how big the stakes are here, just look at this number. Tesla's market cap is over $580 billion. That's more than a lot of the old school legacy car companies combined. So yeah, the stakes aren't just high, we are talking astronomical. Okay, so first up, let's talk about Musk's massive AI gamble. And believe me, it is a truly high stakes bet. Here's the absolute heart of the matter. In Elon Musk's mind, Tesla isn't really a car company anymore. He sees it and he's actively trying to transform it into an AI and robotics powerhouse. And that vision, that single idea, it explains pretty much everything that's happening right now. And that vision, well, it leads us straight to the core conflict here the 25% demand. So here's the breakdown. Right now, Elon Musk owns about 15% of Tesla. He is demanding a new pay package that would push his stake to over 25%. Now, that is not a small ask. That's a huge leap in control. It would make it incredibly difficult for shareholders to ever vote against him on anything. And he's not being subtle about it. He has laid down a pretty stark ultimatum. He's saying, look, if I get over 25% control, I'll build my AI vision right here at Tesla. But if he doesn't, he has explicitly threatened to just take his ideas and build them somewhere else. For anyone who owns a share of Tesla, that is a very, very powerful threat. But, you know, this whole thing isn't happening in a vacuum. You've got major institutional advisory firms like Glass Lewis, and they're telling shareholders straight up to vote no. And all of this is going down while a previous massive pay package, we're talking around $50 billion, is still being fought over in Delaware courts. So there's history here. So all of this just leads to the big question, right? Why? What are the deeper motivations behind this all-out push for control? So why this demand and why right now? Well, it really all comes down to the absolutely massive scale of his vision for what Tesla is going to become next. You see, the new Tesla vision is really twofold. It's about creating humanoid robots and it's about launching huge fleets of fully autonomous robotaxis. In his mind, these are not just some cool side projects, they are the entire future of the company. And the goals he's setting are just incredibly ambitious. I mean, they almost border on science fiction. The pay package itself is actually tied to milestones like building a million Optimus robots and launching a whole robo-taxi network with cars that don't even have steering wheels. So where does this deep, almost obsessive need for control actually come from? Well, according to his biographer, Walter Isaacson, when Musk was a kid, he was heavily influenced by Isaac Asimov's robot novels. And the central theme in those books is the constant risk that these super intelligent creations might turn on their creators. And you have to think, that's a fear that seems to be driving him to this day. Okay, to really get the full picture here, we have to zoom out from Tesla for a second. This drama isn't just happening in a boardroom. It's happening right in the middle of the market's full-blown AI fever. So is this really just about one CEO and one company? No way, not at all. What's happening at Tesla is a perfect reflection of a massive economic trend that's sweeping through everything. Look, make no mistake about it, according to just about every market strategist out there, AI is the North Star of the current bull market. It's the single most important theme that's driving profits and investor excitement right now, period. Now that doesn't mean there aren't worries. Of course there are. Investors are grappling with what some are calling this carousel of concerns, you know, fears of an AI bubble, trade friction with China, credit issues. There's this constant tension between incredible excitement and some real anxiety. But despite all those fears, the data is crystal clear. When you actually look at where the earnings momentum is, where the profits are coming from, it remains firmly with large cap tech and AI. 
that's where the money is, and that's where the money continues to flow. Okay, let's bring all of this together, because what we have here are two interconnected, but really different realities that are driving this one single story. At the end of the day, it comes down to two very different motivations. On one side, you have Elon Musk, who seems to be driven by this very long-term, almost philosophical quest to control AI to prevent some kind of existential risk. And on the other side, you have the market, which is motivated by something much more immediate, riding the AI profit wave while trying to manage the short-term financial risks. And that right there is the real takeaway. This fight over control at Tesla, it isn't just some isolated corporate drama. It's a perfect microcosm, a little snapshot of the bigger questions our entire economy and our whole society are grappling with in the age of AI. It's ambition versus risk, vision versus profit, and control versus collaboration. Which leaves us with this final and, I think, pretty critical question. In a world where the vision of a single person can so powerfully shape the direction of our technology and the market itself, who is ultimately in the driver's seat? 